Good morning. Welcome back again to all of you as we begin a new semester and a new year here at TLU. This morning you'll be extra thrilled to know that this message is going to include pictures. I'd like to take you through a brief walk through the Heather Hansen family album. It's not all inclusive because that would take days. But nonetheless, as we go, I'm going to tell you a few observations or bits of information that I've collected on the way about families. So if I could have my first slide. Aww. First of all, some families are related by blood. The first pictures here are of me and my daughter, Hannah. We've been told we look alike from time to time. When I first, the top two are me, if you couldn't tell by the retro. <laughs> when I first think of family, I usually think of my immediate family, immediately. And there's no denying that Hannah and I are definitely connected to each other through genetics. So that brings me to the next slide. The next slide reminds me that families live together daily. This is the rest of my immediate family, Mark, my husband, and both my kids, Hannah and Alex. Part of what we do as a family is spend time together each day. We live together. Mark and I are parents for our children, and we care and we nurture them. We play together. We talk about our days. Sometimes we fight a little bit, and we share living spaces. And speaking of sharing, that's one thing that families do. Families share common stories. If I could have my next slide, families share common stories. They welcome each other, and they reach across the distances. Up at the top, um, the woman in the middle, that's Annie. She is our cousin from Denmark. We met her this summer. One thing about families is that even across the ocean, you are still family. Distance does not exclude. And then the other picture on the bottom is uh, two of my mom's cousins, my mom and I. I met, the, I met these cousins for the first time this summer, and they were so welcoming and loving. They shared all kinds of stories about who I came from. And they even shared some pictures of those ancestors. So next slide, these are my ancestors. Aren't they attractive? Um, I want to point out a couple in particular, the two on the bottom, the one of the, the, the more handsome man with the woman in the white dress, that is my great grandpa, William E. Manville. I learned a lot about him this summer on my trip to Arkansas. Apparently, he had a pretty bad temper and he carried a gun. <laughs> and one of our elderly cousins that I met, Polly, uh, said to me, you know, you didn't really get to know him. So uh, now I understand a little bit my, my own temper and that of my son's. Um, and then the other picture on the bottom, the man with the four children, that is my great-great-grandpa, William A. Manville. And the, the only thing I know about him is that he was a photographer. If you can see, his foot is pushing down a button. He's pushing down the button to take the picture. Um, so that's all I know about him. But at home, I have a Bible that was his Bible, and it now belongs to me five generations later. Families pass things on, like the Bible, or our temperamental personalities. <laughs> um, so if I can have the next slide. These are my two best friends, Rhonda and Leah. These two women are super important to me. We each in our own way care for the other two, support each other, laugh and cry with each other, trade frustrating husband stories, and I have the best husband in the world stories, too. We are godparents for each other's children. We go on a camp out every summer, just the moms and eight children. And we are not related as family by blood, but they definitely belong in my family album. And then my last slide. These are pictures of my church family. These are the people that are the village that is helping to raise my children. We care for each other in times of need. We worship and we pray and we play together. We are connected by faith and we live together as the family of God. They too, like my best friends, are not related by genetics, but they are just as important as my biological family and they definitely belong in my family album. So now you may be wondering, why on earth is this crazy woman sharing with us all these pictures of her family? So um, I, I have a song that I want to sing the chorus to. It came out a couple years ago, and I've changed the words just a little bit to make it fit today. And it sounds like this. 
I am Eleanor's granddaughter, a spitting image of my mother. And when the day is done, my daddy's still my biggest fan. Sometimes I'm clueless and I'm clumsy, but I got friends who love me and they know just where I stand. They're all a part of me. That's who I am. My point today is that I am who I am in many ways because of the people in these pictures, because of the community in Christ, or you could say the family of God that I belong to. We are all connected in some way to someone. I am connected to these people that I've showed you today because I live with them, spend time with them, care for them or receive their care. I've been welcomed by them. I have been connected across the ocean across the generations before me and after me, and you can even see those connections physically with some of my blood-related family. And finally, I've been especially connected to these people through faith. These are the people who give me life. This year's chapel theme is Bread of Life. One thing my family does really well together is eat together. And we even do that as a family of faith. When we come to the table together, we gather with each other and all the saints who have gone before. Jesus says in Matthew 18, verse 20, for where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. We are assured that when we connect with each other, God is there. And I don't know about you, but for me, that is life-giving. And so the last picture I'd like to share with you today isn't really on the screen. I'd like you to take a moment to look around at all the people here. Go ahead. It's okay to turn and look behind you even. We are all a part of each other's family. We have opportunities to be in community with each other and grow together in faith. And in a few minutes when chapel is over, I encourage you to take a look at the sign-up sheet in the back for faith groups. These groups are yet one more opportunity for you to connect with someone else here at TLU and get to know yet a few more members of your family in Christ and to bring new life to each other through word and prayer. Each of us here is a child of God, connected and gathered together to live our lives daily with each other, to share with each other, to welcome each other, to care for each other, and to pass along a legacy of faith. So welcome to the family. <laughs>